वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स आप कम विद वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड इट इज सेट टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्किल्स लेट्स लुक इन टू द क्वेश्चन एंड वर्क आउट फर्स्ट दी द थियोरिटिकल पार्ट देन वी विल डू दी आई मीन द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट देन विल बी वर्किंग द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द स्केल ट्राई टू वर्क आउट विद मी एंड प्लीज ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई इट बिलोंग्स टू विच टाइप ऑफ स्केल कंस्ट्रक्ट अ स्केल इट इज गिवन जस्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ स्केल ऑफ आर एफ आई मीन दिस इज नथिंग बट द रिप्रेजेंटेशन फैक्टर वन इज टू फोर्टीन to read feet and inches to read feet and inches and long enough to measure and the long enough to measure up to 9 feet show a distance of these two a and b it is given 4 feet 8 inches and 6 feet 2 inches now when you look at this problem dear students as i told that first you are supposed to work out what is the rf rf is directly given i with the scale factor or representation factor it is given as 1 is to 14 i mean we can write it as 1 upon 14 getting a no need of calculating it as the length on the drawing as well as the actual length of the object is directly given later i told you to look at the maximum distance or the long enough to measure the maximum distance till where it can read or the maximum length is already given here it is it is long enough to measure this scale is able to long enough to measure up to how many feet dear students 9 feet the problem is given in feet here please do concentrate on the part later as i told you to work out the length of the scale i cannot draw 9 feet line and the plotting on my drawing sheet for that sake what we are supposed to do is we need to work out the length of the scale as you all are aware that the length of the scale is given as rf into the maximum distance rf into maximum distance i hope you are waiting for it belongs to what type of scale please do concentrate on the part i am going to reveal it belongs to what type of scale now rf is given here as 1 upon 14 dear students as well as even the maximum distance is also given that is all about 9 feet but whereas on on the drawing sheet i need to work out using a centimeter or millimeter my length of scale which i cannot work out in feet that's the reason now i am going to convert this 9 feet into inches first as we all know that 1 feet equals to how many inches dear students so 1 feet equals to 12 inches we haven't gone through the earlier video which i have posted related to the important concepts of scales how to identify it as well as what are the units of measurement i have given a clear idea about the conversions so 1 feet is nothing but 12 inches dear students now i cannot draw even with the inches then you can convert this inches even to the centimeter dear students so 1 inch equals to 2. Point. i'm working out with the inch now here 12 as it is i have written now 1 inch is nothing but 2.54 cm dear students as yes or no this conversion is required in order to work out the length of the scale failing which you are going to lose certain marks in the examination and your problem may not be working out to be a correct answer now once i convert from feet to inch then the inches to cm it's all because my scale is of a centimeter scale the scale which i am going to use to work out the length of the scale is all about the centimeter scale so upon putting this value in the calculator and i found out it to be please do calculate accordingly and do not forget to carry your calculator to the exam it's very useful for you all it's because you are going to get for sure the 100% gunshot question related to any type of scale related to any type of unit So the finally the length of the scale is to be found out to be 19.5 cm 19.5 cm on the scale now we can draw 19.5 cm line to construct the scale before that we need to identify it belongs to what type of scale dear students the thing is here the next after working out the length of the scale we are supposed to work out what are the different units given in the scale I hope you are following my lecture videos related to the scale. I have posted few problems already. Please do concentrate on the part. Now, once you look at the problem here, the scale can read feet. Here is one unit, and the another unit is what the inches. It can read only up to two units. Those are nothing but feet and inches, dear students. So, as per the explanation done earlier, a scale which can read up to one unit. or to the next consecutive unit or to the maximum of two units such type of scale is said to be a plane scale 
by looking at the marking distance also you can work out it belongs to what type of scale if you look at the marking distance it is 4 feet 8 inches there is no other unit so hence i can name the scale is said to be a plane scale this is how we are supposed to identify the scale belongs to a plane or diagonal by looking at each and every parameter and working out like this in the exam which you are going to take now what are the marking distance next we look at what are the marking distance given in the scale these all information you need to put in the booklet dear students not on the drawing sheet the first marking distance is given as four feet and eight inches isn't it is direct let's plot the construction and let's look into the answer how we are supposed to work out this is how the step by step procedure we are supposed to work out first rf later maximum distance later to find out the length of the scale and the units and the marking distance now what we are supposed to look here is the length of the scale we need to plot this now in our drawing sheet now we are going to work out the construction process i am going to work out for you a rough sketch here you are supposed to work out with the instruments dear students do not do rough sketch it won't be valid for you the evaluation now look at the scale and point out the 19.5 centimeter i'm assuming that said to be this is said to be something 19.5 centimeter let it be now as i need to give a lick of the scale as i told that you need to take a 10 millimeter of width and draw a scale it is said to be a, a plane scale i hope you are going to follow even the lectures of diagonal scale it is a bit different in its construction now as it is going to measure up to how many units dear students it can measure up to 9 feet how much length scale that is the 19.5 centimeter the length of the scale is measuring the 9 feet getting so i need to divide this 19.5 centimeter scale into 9 equal divisions to represent the feet as well as inches on my scale so it is found out to be 2.16 centimeter so which i cannot work out using my scale 2.16 exactly so what you are supposed to do is let this is a and let this is b and c and d now i am going to work out as per the construction process of dividing a line concept so draw a line from a less than 45 degree and cut this into 12 equal divisions getting dear students i hope you know this procedure taking some measurement if you haven't know how to work out if you don't know how to know how to work out the the division of a line it is being uploaded in my channel please watch that the last 12th division need to be the sorry the nine equal divisions right it's all about nine feet so the ninth division whichever you have cut on this ac line need to be joined to b getting and placing your drafter parallel to this you are going to join such divisions hope you are getting that now i am going to work out only rough sketch for you here that is to divide nine equal division please do follow this procedure so this is all about one two three four five six seven eight and nine getting the students and the first division next to the a need to be marked as zero and this is said to be one feet two feet three four five six seven and eight and along with this box one zero two a is said to be also one feet that is said to be nine feet this is how you are supposed to look at the long enough to measure till the nine feet this scale need to be read till the feet so it is said to be that from 0 to 8 is said to be a feet scale the primary unit the main unit otherwise to say now 0 to a is nothing but what dear students the next consecutive unit it is all about inches so it is the inches scale please do write down in uppercase letters very neatly your lettering now as we know that as i told that we are supposed to divide this into nine equal divisions stating that from left of uh, to the right of zero it is said to be a primary unit now this is a subunit now this subunit is nothing but inches now look at the marking distance which is about four feet i can take four feet from here but how about the inches dear students it is all about the eight inches is also there now as we know that one feet equals to how many inches dear students 12 inches now you are not supposed to divide 10 equal divisions here 
we are supposed to divide 12 equal divisions as the scale states the unities the feet and inches hence i need to work out the 12 equal divisions in this box which is of 0 to a which is of 2.16 where i cannot do exactly so i need to work out again division of a line concept from D, draw a line less than 45 degree, then divide this into 12 equal divisions. I hope you know how to work out that. The last division need to be joined to this and I am going to work out for your free hand sketch stating that this to be divided into 12 equal divisions. Please try to listen each and every point what I am speaking here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Dear students, I am working out only the rough sketch to make you understand very fast. You are supposed to divide a line concept following all the engineering, uh, the applications as well as the instruments to be used. Now, this is said to be 1 feet, 0 to here and this is said to be inch scale. There are 12 inches in 1 feet. Every box has how many inches, dear students? 12 inches within that. I am nowhere worried about the other box. I am considering as per the construction of plane scale, the main unit is all about the feet and the secondary unit is all about the inches. That is the reason I divided this into 12 equal divisions. When the feet and inches comes, you are supposed to divide this box into 12 dear students, not 10. Now, let us look at the marking distance. So, what is the marking distance of the first one is 4 feet. It can be taken directly. Draw a perpendicular line from your 4 and 8 this is 6 7 8 from 8 one more line here and draw the dimension line very neatly with arrowhead filled arrowheads and write down 4 feet 8 inches 4 feet 8 inch exactly center of the dimension line this is how your scale is going to read which can measure up to 9 feet on a 19.5 centimeter line which we can plot in the drawing sheet where we cannot plot 9 feet line on our drawing sheet so we are going to reduce the size of the drawing it is said to be a reducing scale under the category of plane scale now later it is all about 6 feet 2 inches so 6 feet is being taken from here so this is the 6 feet and the inches need to be marked from here. So, this is 0, 1 and 2. And this is what the distance which is going to measure 6 feet and 2 inches dear students. Exactly center of the dimension line. Please mark 6 feet and 2 inches. I hope you got now how to work out the diagonal scale which I have uploaded in the earlier video. And you came to know even the plane scale also. If the problem is given in different ways and different units of conversion now later you are supposed to write even the rf of the scale exactly center of the scale and do not forget to write so rf is nothing but 1 upon 14 it is said to be a reducing scale the rf represents that whether the scale is a reducing one or the enlarging one or the full size scale in order to know the main the difference between the enlarging as well as reducing as well as full scale, you need to go and watch the earlier videos which I have done. Later, do not forget to write exactly below of this uh, plane scale. Very neat handwriting. Each and every point gives your mark here. It is all about the uh, 15 mark problem, dear students. And do not forget to write these numbers, letters, neat handwriting and the scale only need to be worked with HB pencil and the numbers and letters need to be worked with HB pencil and the dimension lines need to be marked only in H pencil and do not forget to calculate this in your booklet. This is how you are supposed to work out a problem which is related to the scale and identify it belongs to which type of scale. Hope you are liking my videos. For more videos, please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this content with your friends. And if you are looking for any other course or any problem related to engineering graphics, do not forget to comment. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.